all animals. Grandma mistakes a possum for one of her cats. An animal-loving grandmother from Kansas was found to have an opossum hanging out among her stray cats. Eric Hurtline's grandmother has a big heart, especially for our furry little friends. She has her enclosed porch decked out with beds and food. Her grandson Eric dropped by for a visit recently. When he went to check in on the cats, his kitty sense started tingling. Right there among the felines was an opossum chilling in one of the beds. When Hurtline asked his grandmother about the little dude, she said she had named him Tete and that he'd first come to her house when he was an orphaned baby looking for food. So naturally, she took the opossum in. Since then, he's been coming back for the grub and witty conversation. Eric's grandmother really thought Tete was just a cat at first, but when she finally did see it was an opossum, she said, Well, he hasn't bothered me yet, so I'm okay with him being here. Hey, if Granny says it's cool, it's cool. Cats, they clean up after themselves. Abandoned cat found with two pounds of fur weighing it down. If you thought you'd seen every kind of crazy cat video out there, well, think again. On December 16th, the Animal Rescue League shelter in Pittsburgh posted these outrageous photographs to Facebook of a kitty in desperate need of a snippety snip. The cat's 82-year-old owner had Alzheimer's disease, and when he was moved to a nursing home, the furry friend was forgotten and left behind. A distant relative showed up to leave some food out for the elderly man's cat, but he was caught off guard when something raggedly bolted out from under the bed. Using a flashlight, the man searched around the house until he spotted a cat wearing what appeared to be a fur coat for the ages. Its fur was so matted, due to the neglect of her unwittingly forgetful owner, that the cat looked like some sort of mythical creature out of an old monster movie. The man brought the poor disheveled cat to the vet, where they put her to sleep so the long overdue haircut could find the commence. Free of her furry shackles, 14-year-old Heidi now has a new home with the man who saved her. Nice new do, kitty cat. And she even looks slimmer without the dreads. Feral cats overrun remote island in southern Japan. Hemingway's cats are doing just fine after the storm. All of the descendants of Ernest Hemingway's cats avoided a cat astrophe down in the Florida Keys and made it through Hurricane Irma with all toes intact. The 54 six and seven toed cats, along with 10 brave workers from the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum in Key West are all okay. As Irma approached last week, a full evacuation was issued for the Florida Keys. Jackie Sands, the general manager of the museum, ignored the order and stayed put. Sand said she felt she had an obligation to make sure the cats and the grounds made it through the hurricane. The cats must have known something was up and reportedly came inside once they sensed a drop in barometric pressure. The 18 inch thick limestone walls of the house helped a little too. In total, 10 employees stayed behind to help look after all the little fur balls during the storm. But now with the storm gone, things aren't perfect. They don't have power, water or internet but they do have generators, food, and medical supplies on site. Cat gets head stuck in plastic jar. Helpful human sets it free. Wait. Wait. Wow. <laughs>
סף שאי אפשר לשלוף, מה זה? יואו, איזה יופי! כל הכבוד לך. כל הכבוד.